In this presentation, we're going to discuss about some of the operations regarding linked list. So we have already seen a couple of operations like add at the end and add at the beginning in the previous presentation. So in this presentation, we're going to see adding a knot next to the nth knot, deleting all the elements in a knot, count the number of elements or visiting a node counting display visiting etc are, are pretty much same terminology or same operation so we're gonna see that we won't be spending too much time explaining the code around this presentation because this is very simple and similar to the previous presentation so we are straight away going to the demo we have add after end so we have seen add at the end in the previous presentation. So in this we are going to see add a node after the nth element. This is the nth position starting from 0 and this is the data which needs to be added after the nth node. So I'm going to run this program to see how it works first. So we are going to the my list yet. Our execution is currently here, which means that we have successfully added this many elements at the end of the linked list. So let's see that. So I'm adding the linked list to watch. So I have 10, 90, 130, 120, and 5. So we are passing 1 here, which means 0, 1. So after 90, I'm going to add 1000. So that is the operation we are trying to do. So between this 90 and 130, this thousand should come after the execution of this particular statement so I'm going to press F10 so after 90,000 is added 130 is pushed back and the rest of the elements are intact 130, 120 and 5 just like the order we have added here so this is the function So I have two temporary variables here, temp1 and temp2. Temp1 I am initializing to the list head. And what I am doing here is I am traversing to the nth node. After traversing to the nth node, I am adding a new node with the new data. We will have a single run through this code so my breakpoint is currently here so this is n n equal to 1 and the data is 1000 so n equal to 1 this loop is going to execute only once temp1 equal to temp1 dot link so now I am initializing a new node and assigning it to temp2 doing an malloc as usual we are not checking the output of malloc for the sake of simplicity normally we should check that so I'm assigning the data. Here is where I'm inserting a new node. In this case, temp1.link I'm assigning to temp2.link and temp1.link to temp2. This is how I'm inserting the node in between two existing nodes. So if you wanted to focus anything in this program these are the two lines. So temp1.link this is the rest of the link list. We are pointing it to temp2.link and temp2 which is a new node I am pointing to temp1.link. 
if I'm not doing this, temp1.link will get lost, which means that the rest of the linked list will leak or I cannot further traverse after adding temp2. This particular line is there. And this should be done before this line because after this particular line, temp1.link is temp2. So debug further if required to understand these two lines. So this is the most important part of this particular program. Uh, it displays nothing but just traversal and printing the data. So this can be also considered as visiting node or if you are adding a counter here you can count the number of element. So this is just traversal. This is just a basic operation on on any linked list. So that is uh, display. We have seen this particular logic before. Next operation is a delete. Delete a specific node. So deletion operation has two parts. One is finding the node which you need to delete which is more or less traversal and finding the data. And if data is found free that particular element or deallocate the memory and you have to fix up the links so remove the link which you need from the list free it and fix up the links so that is done here so there is a while loop to traverse the list so for traverse list done here so what we are checking is if the criteria for deletion is met here in this case the data in the specified node to delete so if this particular data is equal to the temp dot data or the data of that particular link the criteria is met and if that is the case do the deletion operation so that's what is going in the if condition. Otherwise go to the next node. Here one interesting thing happens is we are saving the previous node. The reason we are saving the previous node is in case we find the node to delete we have to fix up the link of the previous node to the next node because we are deleting one node in the middle. So let's go through the logic once. If the condition is met then we are checking if this is a head node. If it is a head node we cannot do this operation. So previous is not initialized at this point in time. So this is the first iteration. So if it is a head node all we have to do is skip one node. So temp dot link. So it's just skipping one node and just delay the temp so free temp here and we are done we are returning from here otherwise what we do is we will skip one node in the middle so which means that temp which is a current node is in the middle not in the beginning this is how we skip a node from the middle current node is temp previous not is previous which we are saving here previous not link is currently pointing to temp which we are going to delete here all we are doing is skipping that link with temp dot link so probably in this program this is one line you may have to focus this is how you skip a link in the middle of a link list if the deletion criteria is not met, we are saving the previous temp variable right here and temp equal to temp dot link. We are jumping to the next node. Again, if you need further debugging, feel free to do it to understand this program. So we have a couple of examples here. So these examples have uh, given in such a fashion that it will go into all of these conditions. It will come here, it will come here, everywhere it comes 
um, such that uh, this particular example is given. So coming back to slides, so we have seen adding a node next to the nth node, deleting elements, we have not seen deleting all elements, we can do that as well, count the number or display all same operations. So we have seen deletion, counting and adding. So thank you very much.